and we are ready to go. The officials today are from the Big East. Terry Monk is the referee. Sidewinder, and will go into the end zone and over the shoulder on the catch by Bates. He'll go on a knee. They will bring it out to the 20-yard line, first and 10 for Louisville. They lost to Boston College in that Thursday night ESPN game by a score of 35-14. to 14. Howard uh, Schellenberger, their, Schellenberger, their head coach, who was in his 10th year here, said that was the poorest performance of the year. So they've had some time now to prepare, and they'll go to a shotgun immediately with Marty Lowe their quarterback. So a shotgun with two halfbacks on either side. Steps back, throws, going deep over the middle, and it is out of the reach of receiver Bell and defender Donovan Greer at about the Aggie 45-yard line. They have a split in over to the right. That's Coswell Sims in motion with the running back. Shotgun again. They're going to throw it to Sims at the 20, at the 30, cuts back at the 35, free for a moment, goes to the 40. There is a flag down at the 40-yard line. Caught a sharply thrown pass by Lowe and then Mickens dropped him at the 40. There is a holding call, however, against Louisville at about the spot of the tackle. No shotgun as they come to the line of scrimmage. And Anthony Shellman has not started the ball game. Instead, they've gone with a freshman that is Fountain. Here's the fullback Fitzpatrick across the 30 to the 32 and knocked out of bounds by Reggie Graham at the 32-yard line. Balls at the 32 and a half. They will have play action. Roll right. Throw it back over the middle. Asher, the uh, tight end at the 30. At the 38. And now out to the 45-yard line. Across the 45, Jamie Asher, who has 64 receptions this season. They put Shellman in motion to the short side. Snap the ball. Go to the fullback, Fitzpatrick. And he got a yard to the 47-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 45 and a half. To about the 47 went Fitzpatrick. Shotgun again. Second down and nine, Louisville. Operating from there 47 snap the ball shallow pocket four step and now quarterback sack it's going to be the Aggies Larry Jackson apparently on a quarterback sack of low at the 40 protection broke down he stepped up into the pocket he set it up eight yards deep stepped up and then Jackson wrapped him up with a quarterback sack they must reach the Aggie 44 and a half for the first down they have three wide outs left side of the ball tight in right snap it 10-yard pocket, low, dancing around, screen set up this way to Fitzpatrick. He's at the 40, to the 45, to the sideline, knocked out at the 50. He will be five shy of a first down. Here's Fitzpatrick, the fullback on the screen, back to the left side. Dennis Allen gave him the shoulder and knocked him out. Brandon Brookfield, their punter, averaging 41.8. A ball game this season on 53 kicks. His longest has been 61. Mitchell, the Aggie return man at the 10. Let's see what they elect to do with it. Long snap count. A little high about the helmet. Here is almost blocked by Wilbert Biggins. And there will be a bounce at the 10, at the 5, and into the end zone it goes. It hit sideways at the 10, and then had a slow roll to the 5, and then had a quick little kick to itself from the 5 into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. Here are the Aggies on offense. Corey Pullig uh, with an eye formation behind him. It's Gross and Thomas flexed out to the right side. An extra receiver in the ball game. That'll be the tight end, McKeon, who had lined up in the backfield. Hand off to Thomas, left side to the 20, 25, across the 30, to about the 34-yard line goes Rodney Thomas on the first play of the game. Rico Clark, sophomore out of Georgia, number two on the Louisville team in tackles, brought Rodney down, but the Aggies get a first down on their first play of the ball game. Going to spot it very close to the 35. Heavy eye, Texas A&M, hash to the left, snap it, three-step drop, Pass the ball to the 40, caught by Sanders at the 40-yard line. That'll be about a five-yard pickup. For Chris Sanders, that will be his 16th reception of the season. Rico Clark again for Louisville on the stop. Not a full house here today, but as we told you earlier, 3,500 Aggie tickets were sold. Here's second down and five at the Aggie 40. An eye formation. Slot again to the left. Long count by Pullick. Now he pulls up from center. Brandon Ward looks to his right. Now back to his left. And they'll snap the ball. Five-yard pocket. And there's nobody where he threw the ball to the 50-yard line to Brian Mitchell. Now Brian Mitchell was actually throwing a block whenever the pass was thrown. Here's the third down and five split backs. Brandon Ward over the ball. Snaps it. Seven-yard pocket. Screen. In and out of the hands of Rodney Thomas. He went right through his hands at the 34. It's incomplete, and the Aggies now will punt on their first possession. Sean Terry, the Aggie putter, standing back at the AM 25-yard line. He has an average this season of 39.2. 
Outside pressure. Oh, nice sailor with the wind at his back. Clark backing up. Takes it at the 10-yard line. Looks for the sidelines. Gets away from one man. Now coming back this way. Fall. 12. He covered up when he looked up and saw Detron Smith. He had Hayward Clay, and he had Cole Reinerts, the deep snapper, converging on him. All starters on that defensive front. Shorter here, rather Armstrong here on the right side. Shotgun again. Set it up at the five. Low, dancing around. Throws it over the middle. It's going to be caught by Bell at the 21-yard line. They will be shy of a first down by a yard and a half. Michael Hendricks on Bell. They show a shotgun again on second down and a yard. Shellman and Fitzpatrick. Hand it off to Shellman. He's in the backfield. He's tackled from Ooh, behind. And, oh, what a nice hit. And then good block behind on Edward Jasper. Big play for the Aggie defense. If they could hold Louisville, they could get pretty good field position for their offense. Sean Kreiss, one of their linemen, checked out. He was hurt. Third down in the yard. I formation. Goes to Shelman. Tripped up in the backfield. Falls forward to the 23-yard line. It's going to be awfully close, and I think he got it on the spot. He's going to be about the 23 and a half, and it's a first down. Apparently, their third of the ball game. First down and 10. Bell's in motion. Back to the middle of the field. It's going to be an end around. It went to Bell. Now they're going to throw a halfback pass. Bell's going to be caught and dropped back at the 18. Handed it off to uh, Fitzpatrick. Then Bell came back. Took it from Fitzpatrick. Set up to throw a pass. And then the protection broke down. And the Aggies dropped him at 19's the official spot. Shotgun again on second down and near 15. Bell sets up left, goes in motion. Two halfbacks in the ball game. And pressure again. Low throws. And it is caught by Asher, but not enough for a first down at the 28-yard line. The tight end caught it, cradled the ball, went down immediately. This will be the third, third down situation for Louisville. They're one of two. Now timeout apparently will be called here for some reason. Now Louisville back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and a long five facing the Cardinals at their 28-yard line. Bags moving there, but nobody got in and uh, made contact. Still no snap. Now they snap it. Rolling back to the left. Low. Looking. Now he's going to throw deep. And it is knocked away. Intended for Bell at the Aggie 47 by Donovan Greer. I think Greer got a hand on that. Yeah. The Cardinals picking up the blitz pretty well. And uh, Donovan Greer singled up one-on-one. -on -one. He did the job, had good coverage, knocked it away. Brandon Brookfield will stand at the Louisville 13. Line of scrimmage is the 28. Billy Mitchell standing at the 25, and we almost got to it again with Wilbert Biggins, and now here's the punt. Mitchell at the 29, jumps over a man, gets it up the sideline, bounced out at the Aggie 40. The 40-yard line. Twice now, Wilbert Biggins has almost blocked the Brookfield punt. I don't know how he's missing that. 7.49 to go here in the first quarter. There's no score. Second possession of the ball game for Texas A&M. Single setback will be Rodney Thomas. Two wideouts on the right side. Open side of the, of the formation. Here is a throw over the middle. Incomplete. Jumping high trying to bring it down was Brian Mitchell. R.C. Slocum 2-0 against Louisville. In the only two ball, uh, ball games these uh, two schools have played. Here is a second down and 10. Again near the 40. Hand off to Rodney. Caught in the backfield and brought down at the 38. That'll be a two-yard loss. Nice play by Tyrus McLeod, number one tackler on this team. With 78 unassisted uh, uh, bring down so far. And that gives him 79. Shotgun. Three wide outs on the left side. Single setback. Nobody staying in the block. Rolling to the left is Pulley. He will throw. And it's going to be tapped away on a nice play by Samuel Madison at about the Aggie 45. It went incomplete. He tapped it away. Corey Pulley with a roll left that time. He had a flood pattern out there, but the Cardinals reacting well to it. Had it well covered. Single setback return man. Here is the kick by Terry. It's going to be a little short and taken on the run at the 30 by Clark and knocked down at the 35 yard line. So a little short on the kick. Just 32 yards off the foot of Sean Terry. Well, okay. First down and 10. Here's Louisville again. Operating from their 35 and a half. Split back formation. No shotgun. Low. Under pressure. Got away from one man. Rolls to his right. Goes to the line of scrimmage. Throws down the sideline. And it goes incomplete. And almost intercepted by Dennis Allen. The receiver, Montano, ran up the back of the Aggies, Donovan Greer. And then the ball went on down to about the 20. That collision occurred at the 30. Here's a shotgun. 
second down and 10. Lowe takes the snap, hands off to Fitzpatrick, started right, goes back to the left. Good carry across the 40 to the 42. It'll be third down and three, three and a half coming up for Louisville. Reggie Brown made that stop. He's a mighty good player. Here's the third down play. No shotgun. Running back set off to the right, goes in motion. That'll be Fountain. Straight drop low. Cox's arm throws, caught at the 50. By uh, Fountain, down to the 30. Bumped out at the 25-yard line. All by himself was Frank Fountain. Came back to the left side, hit him wide open to the 50. They carry down to the Aggie 25-yard line. First and 10 for Louisville at that point. At the 25, looks like Lowe's caught in an audible. He's going to move Asher out a step or two away from the right tackle. Straight drop. Eight-yard pocket, forced out of the pocket, running with the ball now, caught and dropped at the line of scrimmage. He stepped up to the line and knocked down there by Reggie Graham. Also close by was the Aggies' Reggie Brown. Second down and 10. Lost a yard on that, so we'll call it second and 11. Shotgun running back to the right of low, standing at the 30. Drops back to the 35, dances, throws over the middle to Fitzpatrick, caught it at the 20, 15, 10, will go out of bounds at the five-yard line. Fitzpatrick out of the backfield. So the running back's playing a major role in the passing game for Louisville. Dennis Allen bumped him out at the five-yard line. First and goal, Louisville. Have a first and goal at the five. Hash right, Louisville. They have two tight ends in the ball game. Motion back to the left side on the ground, and it goes to Fountain. Breaks the tackle at the seven. Fights back to the five-yard line. Dennis Allen will make the stop. He'll go from a shotgun. Low stands at the ten to take the snap. Straight drop. Throws to the end zone. And it is intended at the goal line. There's going to be a flag down intended at the goal line for oh, Bell. What a late flag. And it's going to be against uh, Ray Mickens on Sean Jackson at the back of the end zone. The ball was thrown way beyond the uh, grasp of Bell, but the holding call will go half the distance uh, to the Aggie goal line and set up a second and goal from the three. Oh, first and goal from the three. Two tight ends. Actually, they have three in the ball game. Asher lines up. It's an eye formation. And it's play action. Lowe looking and will run it to the end zone. And he got in. Touchdown. Lowe was looking at Asher right at the goal line. Didn't throw to him. And then finally took it in at the corner. And Louisville leads by a score of 6 to nothing, with 4.05 to go here in the first quarter of play. They marched it from their 36 into the end zone. And that was a very nice drive. On to kick at David Akers. He's 21 of 22. Brookfield, their punter holds. Ball is snapped. Kick is on its way, and it's good. Louisville leads 7 to nothing at 4.05 in the first quarter. We'll take a break. This is the Texas Aggie Network. For Lowell, that will be the first touchdown he has scored this season. Here's a squibber. Be taken on the left side. McElroy about the 13 to the 25, back to the 30, across the 35, about the 36-yard line. It was a squibber, picked up on a big hop at about the 13-yard line and returned out then to the Aggie 36-yard line. The Illinois leads Penn State in the first quarter, 21 to nothing. How about wow. that? 21 to nothing. We just got that. Here's a pitch back to Rodney. He started left. Actually to the right. Tried to go back to the left. And now a flag down at the line of scrimmage. Offsides, Louisville. Five-yard mark off. Be first and five, a and Ball outside the 40. On the ground again. Start up the middle to Rodney. Caught again in the backfield. Drop back at the 37-yard line. Thomas took a handoff. That was designed to go right up the middle, and then he had to retreat when that closed down on him, and Johnny Frost caught him at the Aggie 37. Second and seven. Operating again at about their 39, the Aggies. Eye formation. Gross and Thomas again. The tie it in. McKeon goes in motion to the short side of the field. Snap it. Pitch it to Rodney. Trying for the left side. Caught in the backfield. Lost back to the 36. Caught by Tyrus McLeod. Chased Rodney down. Thomas was caught by the shirt collar and then brought down. Special mark is going to be at the 36 and a half. Aggies on their last three rushes have been uh, dropped for losses. A&M's loading it up on the left side. They've gone to a shotgun. 
Third down and nine. Ward snaps it. Straight drop by Pullock. Throws it over the middle. It's caught for what should be a first down if they give him the spot where he caught the ball, and they will. First down AM at the 46 yard line. David Irwin tells us it's Brian Mitchell that made yeah, that. Mitchell last caught it. Okay, we've got first and 10 AM. Thomas on the ground. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Tripped up by Tyrus McLeod. Boy, it's a it's a one-man show on this uh, Louisville defense. Tyrus McLeod playing a whale of a ball game so far here. Single setback slot to the right on second down. We'll call it a long nine. Pulling changed something up. Now goes under center. Takes the snap. Rolls right. Throws the ball. Caught at the 45. And out of bounds goes Brian Mitchell. A yard and a half shy of a first down for the Aggies at the Louisville 45. Samuel Madison, number six tackler on this ball club out of Florida, made the Cardinal stuff. Aggies have loaded it up. Two fullbacks and two tight ends with a single uh, go with an eye. They have Thomas as the tailback. Third down and about two facing Texas A&M. Long count, now Smith goes in motion. Pullock takes the snap, pitches it to Rodney Thomas, looks for a hold. There's a flag down, is that a flag? Yep, there is, and the Aggies are gonna get caught for a hold at the 45-yard line. A&M will pick up a first down, but it's gonna be a holding call against A&M. Aggies on third down and about 15, let's call it 14. And it's a draw to the backfield to Rodney Thomas at the 50. Caught, knocked down at the 47. He'll be shy of a first down by about three and a half yards. One, back for more. Standing back at the Aggie 38 is Sean Terry. Line of scrimmage, the Louisville 47. Clark is the return man. No pressure. High in the air. Good punt. Fair catch call for Clark. Will take it, drop the ball, and the Aggies may have, uh, do they get it or not? I think they did. A&M saying they have it inside the Louisville 20. Louisville not saying anything. And the Aggies come up with it inside the Cardinals' 20-yard line. A&M has it on a turnover. First down and 10. Hand it off to Rodney Thomas. Dances, moves left and back to the right. Got about uh, the 16. That punt a moment ago was 31 yards that was fumbled by Rico Clark and recovered by the Aggies. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the south end zone. Long count, A&M with a second down and about seven. Coming out showing a heavy eye. Still counting as Pulling. Still counting. Long count takes it. Hands off to Rodney Thomas. Started back to the left, went back to his right, back to his left again. After all was said and done, he got the line of scrimmage. Johnny Frost, Louisville is doing a great job with the exception of that 14-yard opening run by Rodney Thomas today against the rush. We'll need to get close to the eight for a first down. Snap it, play action, quarterback ball has been fumbled. It's rolling free back at the 40. Pulling, diving for it and falls on it back at the 45 yard line. It'll be fourth down and the fumbled punt apparently will not hurt Louisville. Nobody caught Kendall Brown coming from the defensive left side. He blew right by the AM blocking. Here is the punt by Terry. It's a nice one into the win this time and will hit in the end zone. They'll bring that one out to the 20. That will be a kick of 44 yards. First and 10 for the Cardinals. Shotgun again. Would say that uh, at least 90% of their plays have been run from the shotgun. Lowe takes it, dances back, wants to intercept it oh. and dropped by Reggie Brown. He was trying to hit Fitzpatrick to tie it in. Brown was laying in wait. Had it and then dropped it. He would have scored, but he dropped the ball. It's incomplete. Oh, he had just waited there and waited and knew the pass was coming that way. They have motion from Asher. They're tied in. Straight drop again by Lowe. Looking over the middle. Throws the ball. Caught by Asher. It'll be a first down and about five more. Out to the 35. He was wide open over the middle. Caught the ball at about the 27 and then turned it upfield at Jamie Asher. With five receptions today, he becomes the all-time uh, career reception man at Louisville, beating out Ralph Dawkins. First down and 10, operating from there, 35. Motion from Bell toward the middle of the field. They'll keep it on the ground. Caught in the backfield is Fountain. He will get back to the 35, lost a yard on that. Brandon Mitchell, the big play leader on the AM defense, has 36. Second down and 10. Shotgun again. A halfback on either side of Marty Lowe, the quarterback. Three-step drop throws over the middle. It's going to be caught close for the first down out at the 45. 
going to be caught by Bell. Dennis Allen made the hit in the tackle for A&M at the Louisville 45. They are a yard shy, short yardage formation. And they'll sneak for it. I don't know if Lowe got it. I, I don't think, think he got, got the, anything. Uh, Lowe, the quarterback, tried to sneak for it. And the official on the far side has given him the 35, 45-yard line. They're 45 and a half. Pitch it left. Fitzpatrick bottled up. Fumble Fumbled. the ball. It's on the turf. Who got it? I think Louisville got it back at the 41. Fitzpatrick was hit. It popped up in the air. One of the offensive linemen fell on it at about the 41. Lowe well, has scored their touchdown. He's the quarterback. Shotgun again. Two halfbacks. Up the middle come the Aggies. They're setting up a screen. And it's red wild oh, nice nicely play. by the Aggies. And it will be Mike Hendricks who hit. I don't know if that's the tie it in or that. No, that will be Fitzpatrick, the fullback again at the 37-yard line. Hendricks shooting up the middle. Here's the third down and 19. Single halfback. Shotgun again. Pressure up the middle. Stepping up into the pocket. Dancing around. Throwing the ball to Bell. Caught at the 42. Dropped at the 47. Shy of a first down by about eight or nine yards. And Louisville will have to punt. Billy Mitchell standing at the Aggie 10. Brookfield their punter. 50 and 42 on his punt. Standing at the 32. Line of scrimmage is the Louisville 47 on this fourth down punt. Skipped it in. Caught it. And puts it in the air of that right foot. Caught by Mitchell at the 15 to the 20, 25. And will hold on to the ball as he goes down to the 29-yard line. Wrapped up and brought down by Mike Bogan. Louisville scored in the first quarter. Leland McElroy is in at the running back position. The lead back is Detron Smith. Play action. Throwing to the right. It's going to be caught at the 35. And it's a first down on the reception by Brian Mitchell across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. That will be his third. He has 29 yards in receptions. All right. That uh, now will give uh, Brian a total of 23 for the season. Ball club is led by uh, Ryan Matthews, who has 23. The two are uh, tied now for that lead. First and 10. Goes to Leland. Has five. Caught. Slowed up a little bit. Has eight. A&M will show an eye formation. Tied in Clay here on the left side. Kevin Byrne now is a receiver. He's split out short side of the formation. McElroy again has the first down across midfield to the Louisville 47-yard line. Goes Leland McElroy. Tyrus McLeod again. First down and 10 at the 47-yard line. Louisville side of the 50. Play action. Pulling. Looking to the right. Throws the ball. Did he trap it? Did he catch the ball? It went to Smith. And apparently he caught the ball at the 43-yard line. Caught it. Kendall Brown, one of their defensive linemen, is coming off the field. He's hurt a little bit. Second down and six. On the ground again to McElroy. He will carry a couple of uh, would-be tacklers with him down to the 40. Picks up four. Took it out to the right side on the handoff from Pulling. Well, another critical third down conversion for the Aggies. Facing a third and two and a half from the 40-yard uh, line in Louisville territory. They need to keep this drive alive. Pulling's first career touchdown came against Louisville. Here's third down and about two and a half. Motion, Mitchell back to the left. Pitch it coming back this way to McElroy. They've got him bottled up. He's caught and he's dropped outside the 45 at the 46. Everything broke down. He'll lose about uh, six on the play. And Terry Quinn will drop it. Coach Slocum said all along that this game probably as much as uh, any game on the schedule concerned him as he looked ahead. Uh, for a lot of reasons, Louisville's not bad, and the Aggies coming off a huge win against Texas. Here's a fourth down, outside pressure. Punts away. Here he is at the 12. Clark got away from one man, gets back up, goes to the 15-yard line, and Cliff Gross on a three-yard return by Rico Clark. By the way, stations, they do not give timeouts during the uh, quarters. If you're wondering, you've not missed any timeouts. You've missed no commercial time. They do not give timeouts. Play action, low, under some pressure. Quarterback sack inside the 10 at the 7, sacked by Antonio Armstrong. It will be his sixth. Yeah, it gives him seven and a half sacks now. It's six and a half, seven and a half now for Antonio Armstrong. Second down and 17, Louisville. Motion from Fountain going to the open side. It's a draw out of the backfield. As they'll hand off to Fitzpatrick, he'll take it across the 10 to about the 11. And again, a shotgun. Fountain and Fitzpatrick are the running backs. They have a wide out on both sides of the ball. From the six, throws over the middle. Caught, and out to the 40 will go Asher. 
Asher caught the ball over Mike Hendricks at the 40. First down out of a hole on a third and 14 to the 40 to Jamie Asher. He is a big time tight end. Boy, possession time in the first half is going to favor Louisville heavily. Shotgun again, throwing back in this direction, out of the backfield, caught at the 40, Fitzpatrick right at the line of scrimmage, caught by Reggie Brown. Second down and about 10, again a shotgun. They need midfield for a first down. 10-yard pocket, dancing around, low, throwing, caught at the Aggie 45-yard line for a first down. They beat Donovan Greer with Sean Jackson on the sideline. All Greer could do was give him a push into the Louisville bench, and they cross midfield again. No changes. Well, they got Brad Crowley in on the far side for Larry Jackson. It's going to be an end around to Cosmo Sims. The Aggies have read it, and it's going to be Larry Walker who will sling Sims down on the turf back inside the 50 at the Louisville 46. Quentin Brown now has checked in. He's the freshman out of Corsicana. We got Brown in there. Crowley's in there. He's a uh, freshman redshirt. He is uh, Brad Crowley. Rolling right, low, looking, throws the ball, incomplete, trying to hit Sean Jackson at the Aggie 45. Mickens trailing the play. Here's the third down play at 2.05 to go. Operating from the Louisville 46. Low, back at the 35, throws over the middle. It is, oh, oh there's going to be a face mask on the Aggies. It goes incomplete at the 32, and AM just kept. Gets caught big time on a face mask on the incomplete pass. Well, what happened One of the Ags almost had it, Graham, I think, at about the 40, and then the receiver was trying to catch it on a deflection. That would have been Fountain. And uh, one of the Aggies came up over his back, grabbed him by the face mask, and pulled him down backwards, and two officials caught it. Apparently it was Dennis Allen. It was Dennis Allen. He really had no choice. That's all he could grab. Otherwise, that's going to be a completion. Here's third down and 14 after the five-yard markoff. Again, they need the Aggie 35. Low takes the snap, sets up, looking right, throws the ball, and it is incomplete. Trying to get it to Bell at the Aggie 33-yard line. It'll be fourth down for Louisville with 153 remaining here in the first half. And he is here on the left side. Billy Mitchell anticipating the punt, standing down at the Aggie 10. Line of scrimmage is the AM 49. Outside pressure. This is a good kick. It's going to go to the end zone. And it will. He'll bring it out on the touchback. 49-yard kick off Brookfield's foot. Here are the Aggies. First down and 10 at their 20. Eye formation. So what they elect to do in the last couple of minutes of the ball game. Hand off to McElroy out to the 23-yard line. Here's second down and seven from the 23. Pulling in a shotgun. Single setback to his right. Detron Smith throws it to Detron to the 25. Trying to spin away. Stretches out to the 28-yard line. Actually, about the 28 and a half. to McElroy, Madison and Frost on the stop. First down, AM. A&M elected, or rather Louisville, not to take the full timeout, so the Aggies convert to a first down on a pass to McElroy from the 29 to the 35. Now we've got first down and 10 at the 35. Throw the ball back this direction and knocked away, intended for Matthews on the sideline at the Aggie 43, knocked away by Samuel Madison. Shotgun with Detron Smith to the left of quarterback Corey Pulling. Here's a three-step drop, throws it back to the right side. Caught, out of bounds will go Brian Matthews at the Aggie 46, apparently enough for a first down. First down and 10 operating at their 46 A&M. Shotgun again, two wideouts, both sides of the ball. Roll to the left, being chased from behind, throwing the ball deep, has a man, Sanders, stretching out, caught the catch. ball down at the eight. At the eight, they will stop the clock with 51 seconds to go. Stretching out, caught it at the eight, went down, stayed in bounds at the eight-yard line. What a great catch by Chris Sanders for 46 yards. Corey Pulling rolling to his left. He's going to take a timeout. Rolling to his left, locate Sanders, and what a great catch stretching out is Sanders down inside the 10-yard well, line. Well, Louisville now calling two timeouts may have backfired on them. They called two timeouts, and the Aggies hit a big pass down to the eight. Timeout on the field with 51 seconds to go. This is the Texas Aggie Network. Corey Pulling is four of five passing on this possession. First and goal at the eight, Texas A&M. 
Aggies call that timeout first and goal. They come out with a heavy eye. And it will be on the ground to McElroy. Skipping outside at the five. Cuts it back in. Touchdown! Leland McElroy from the eight. Started to go. I cut it back to his left and went into the end zone. The Aggies now with a chance to tie it here at the 45-second mark in the first half. To try the extra point now is Kyle Bryant. Stormy Case will hold. Deep snapper is Cole, is Cole Reinerts. Ball is snapped. It's on the ground. The kick is good, and the Aggies have tied it at seven apiece. Celebrating 100 years of football, you're listening to the Texas Aggies. Took one minute of clock time to score the touchdown on that drive. Here he is, Waggis back to kick it off. Kicks it sidewinder toward the near side, and it will go into the end zone on a touch buck. Bates was there to return it, but it goes out the side of the end zone, and that took no time off the clock. 45 seconds, game tied at 7, 45 until halftime. Louisville, no shotgun. On the ground to Fitzpatrick, the fullback bounces outside and will be caught at the 23-yard line. That started up the middle, got a yard there, and then started working it to his right across the 23. Reggie Graham with a 25-second clock, and the game clock are about even. It looks like Louisville will just run the clock out here and go into the locker room with a 7-7 tie with the Aggies. Now down to 10 seconds. Low looking at the scoreboard clock. Goes down on a knee, and that will be uh, halftime. Before we, uh, we go to a break here, we're going to take a network break. We'll take a network break, then we'll come back. We'll take a network break of 60 seconds. This is the Texas Aggie Network. deep on this side at the five McElroy on the far side is Billy Mitchell see if they try to keep it away from Mac here is Akers to the line and it's a kick that's going to sail over the head of McElroy and uh, he starts to come out now goes down on the knee he went right to the goal line and stopped Billy Mitchell put a hand up Mac was coming out of there time uh, was not as lopsided as I thought the Aggies had 13 13 Louisville 16 minutes and 47 seconds I formation Crowd getting loud here on the first snap of the second half. Play action. Pulling, rolling back to his right. The tight end, McKeon, catches the ball at the 22. Gets the 22 and a half, driven back to the 21 by Terry Quinn. Hunter Goodwin starts out as the tackle on the right side. No other changes in that offensive line. The guards, well, will get the play. Play action again. Rolling to his right, throwing the ball. Kevin Byrne has it at the 35 for a first down for Texas A&M. Aggies will burn Louisville at the 35. Rico Clark makes the stop on Kevin. McCray steps in as Byrne goes out. McCray is a split in on the left. The Aggies go with a light eye. Thomas is the tailback. It will be pitched here. It's going to be an end around. Coming back to McCray. Wide up on the right side. 35. Man caught him at the 39-yard line. It just was a block away from being a big play, and it was Rico Clark who broke through. It was an end around to McCray going from left back to right. But Rico Clark snuck through and dropped it for a three-yard game. And McCray will check out. Split in left, tied in on the, uh, rather, to the right. And it's on the ground to Rodney Thomas. Started outside, cuts it back inside, and uh, turned what should have been a loss into a nice little gainer here of about four yards as he gets it out to about the 43-yard line. And now a third down. And about three and a half. Single setback. Pullock with three wideouts on the right. Looking in that direction as he rolls right. Throws the ball. Caught for a first down at the Louisville 47-yard line to Ryan Matthews. Think of, yeah, it is Ryan Matthews on the reception. Terry Quinn wrapped him up. Rodney Thomas is the lone setback. Tied in right flanker rights. They have a slot to the left. Play action. Going over the middle. And it skipped into the turf. Incomplete. Bullock in the first half was 9 of 14, throwing the ball with 108 yards. Unusual, course, unusual set here. Wilbert Biggins and Rodney Thomas in the backfield. Split box. 
It goes to Thomas at the 50. Down to the 45, to the 40. Bulldozes his way close for a first down. They're not going to give him quite the spot needed. That was second and 10. This will be third and one. The two fullbacks of the two tight ends. Gross, Smith, Clay, and McKeon all in on third and inches. Louisville has eight people, nine people. Pulling's going to sneak for it. Oh, he picked up about four yards. He did. He goes to the 35. That was a wall of maroon and white moving a, a wall of red and white back down the field of the 35-yard line. I formation. Tight ends on the left, on the ground. Rodney started inside. Now he breaks across the 30, goes to the 29-yard line. The 29 will be Rodney Thomas. Calvin Collins was assisted off the field, and the Aggies now will have it. And they hand off to Cliff Gross, and Cliff will go close for a first down on second and five. Down to about the 25-yard line in the offensive line now. There's Jones. Kobe Hackrett. Hackrett. Kobe Hackrett has taken his place. So two starters are out of the offensive line. Third down and short, and the power formation short yardage. Motion from Smith. Snap the ball to Rodney Thomas. Bottled up, got away from one man, fights through another tackle. Close for a first down, but not quite. There is a flag down, apparently, at the 25-yard line. It will be either fourth down and about a yard and a half. Or apparently a penalty against Texas A&M. It's holding against the Aggies, and the flag is on the turf at the 24-yard line. Here's a big third down play early in the second half. 9.57, game tied at seven apiece in the third quarter. Loaded up on the right side, the open side of the formation. Snap the ball. Pulling, throws it over the middle. It's caught at the 30. And will be Cliff Gross to the 27-28 yard line. Gross, it was open for a moment. Then Rico Clark threw a body block into a cliff about waist high. Here comes the field goal team. Kyle Bryant coming on to try a field goal of about 45 yards. Two of three last week against Texas. Hit from 27 and 42, missed from 37. This one will be at the 36. It is a 46-yard effort, angle back to the right. Holding will be Stormy Case. Deep snapper Cole Reiners. Snap it, spot it down, kicks on its way. Maybe good it is, it's a good kick by Kyle Bryant of 46 yards. Kyle Bryant puts the Aggies up for the first time today on a 46-yard field goal. We have 9.07 to go here in the third quarter, and the Aggies lead for the first time 10-7. We'll take a break now. This is the Texas Aggie Network. Well, the opening possession of the half for the Aggie offense, uh, they take it at their own 20-yard line. They move 52 yards in 12 plays during the drive. They pick up two key third down conversions. Good balance in the drive. Five runs, six passes. And they have to settle for a 46-yard field goal from Kyle Bryant. But they take the lead for the first time tonight by a score of 10 to 7. Waggis Pack has it teed up. He's been kicking well today. This one will sail down to the two-yard line. Bates to the 10. Up the middle he goes. Bottled up at about the 22-yard line. Marty Lowe again will come out there, quarterback. And in a shotgun, he has the fullback Fitzpatrick off to his right. Fountain, the freshman, is the other running back. Bell went to the left side in motion. Straight drop low, dancing around. Will throw the ball, and it is caught out at about the 31-yard line. I think that's Bell again. Bell, the motion man, caught it at the 31. He'll be a yard shy of a first down. 8-21 in the third quarter. The eye formation, no shotgun. Goes to the tailback Fountain. He'll pick up the first down and more. He got about uh, eight yards to the 40. First down and 10 at the 40. The yard line. Shotgun again. Fitzpatrick and Fountain, the running backs. Bell again in motion. They'll go five yards back in the pocket. Set it up, throw it over the middle. Nice catch. Bell once more. Down to the Aggie, 48 across midfield. They've got themselves a first down. Aggies just took it on a field goal drive. 46-yarder by Kyle Bryant that gives them a 10-7 lead. But now Marty Lowe and the Louisville offense is coming right back at first and 10. Pitch it. Coming back to the right side. Fitzpatrick has about four yards. Fumble the ball. It's on the turf. And I believe Louisville got it back at the 49. Antonio Armstrong was diving for it. However, it will be Asher, the, the uh, tie it in, who fell on it back at the 49. They lose a yard. After it, are they going to call it a fumble? Second and 11. 
Aggie 49. They must get the 38 for a first down. It's a shotgun once more for Marty Lowe. They'll snap the ball. And flags may have run out of time. Second down and about 16 will be needed. Straight drop low out of a shotgun. Again, throws the ball. Caught by Asher. Will be down to the 40-yard line. Asher caught it at the 45 on a nice throw from low. And they will come up needing third down and two. Asher just caught his fifth pass of the day. He is the all-time reception man for a career at Louisville. He has 152. 152 with his five receptions today. Third down and two and no shotgun. High formation. Snap it. Give it off to Fountain. Fumble the ball. It's on the turf. He recovers his fumble outside the 45, back at the 46-yard line. They're going to have to punt it away. And Ray Mickens now is the deep man for the Aggies at the 10. They're expecting not to have an opportunity to return this ball. Aggies with uh, about five men up on the line. They're not coming. It's outside pressure. They're coming to the sideline on the punt. They've got a man over there, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the 8-yard line. At the 8, knocked out of bounds. Calvin Collins is back in at the left guard. Brooks is still in for Richard. Snap it. Play action. Throw it. Right side. Smith to the 10. Smith to the 15. Smith to about the 19-yard line. Ran over one, two, three Cardinals. Uh, all the way out to the 19. Close for a first down. One of the... He fullbacks Detron Smith, a junior. Two letters out of Dallas. Had uh, four receptions into the game today. Has scored a touchdown this season. First and ten at about the 20-yard line. a and into the field. High formation. Pulling. Takes it. Hands off to McElroy. Has five. Has ten. Has 15. Has 20 yards. Out to the 20 yard. At 40 from the 20. Out to the 40 went Leland McElroy. 21 yards officially to the to Leland McElroy and the Aggies hit him with a Mac attack. And a nice drive working here for the Aggies with 352 left in the third quarter. Brandon Ward out over the ball. They moved it now from uh, their nine out to the Aggie 40. AM has an eye formation. Two wideouts on the left side. Pulling is calling an audible. First and ten. Snap it. Throw the ball to the sideline. Nobody's there. That goes incomplete at the 40. Everybody had stopped. Was there a whistle out there? No, I don't think there was a whistle. What happened was Corey read the blitz, and uh, Louisville coming with an all-out blitz. He wanted the fade route, but I don't think Brian Mitchell picked up the uh, the audible. Everybody this one goes incomplete. Everybody stopped about five yards off the line of scrimmage. And it goes incomplete down at the Louisville 40. Closest man, as Dave told you, was Brian Mitchell. But he was standing somewhere between about the 45 and 50. Hayward Clay is in at the tight end position. And he's here on the left side of the formation. a and showing him an eye on second down and 10 at the Aggie 40. Pulling with, again, a long snap count. Brandon Ward snaps it. They're going to hand off to McElroy. Cuts it back. He's across the 45. Goes to the 46. On a second down and 10. A&M will have about three and a half when they come back. They make it four. They just moved it back to the 46-yard line. Slot with Mitchell. In the slot on the right. Kevin Byrne is the wide out. Tight end left. Third and about four. Bullock wants to throw. Back this way to Detron Smith. Fights for a first down. Where are they going to spot him? Out of across the 50. He stretched out. Got it on the pass to Detron Smith out of the backfield. Detron Smith doing a good job of catching the football and then extending himself out across the 50 to pick up that critical first down and third down conversion for the Aggies. Chris Sanders here on the left side. He split out, no, about six or seven steps from the left tackle, Jeff Jones. Aggies show a light eye. Play action. In Durant. It's been fumbled, and it's on the turf. It's going to be picked up and now falling on back at the 32 by Detron Smith. They were trying to do an end around. One of the Louisville players came busting through. He hit both the man. Sanders, who was going to take the handoff from Pullig, and Pullig at the same time, all the way back to the 33. They need the Aggies. The Louisville 40 on second down and 27. Get it all on one play. High formation. Pullig hands it off. It's McElroy. McElroy spins as he hits the 40. He will go to the 44-yard line. AM now will face third and 16. They got 11 of it on that one carry. Rico Clark again. Rodney Thomas and Wilbert Biggins are both in the lineup. The Aggies are still huddled up. Sanders and uh, Brian Mitchell go to the right. Maybe some kind of a, uh, a trick play here when you get these two in the lineup. Slot right, tight end left. 
And it's play action. Going to the sideline. Here's Rodney. Had it, dropped it at the 35. Rodney Thomas was a little low down around the knees. He had it, dropped it. He had two defenders on him. So a drive that had moved across the 50 to the Louisville 49. A fumble on a great play by Louisville, recovered by the Aggies back at the 33. Set up a second down and 27. They got 11 of that. And uh, then on third and 16, it goes incomplete. Here's Sean Terry standing at the 30. They are coming up the middle, but then they let up after about a five-yard penetration. Rico Clark at the 25, spins away from one man. Caught now at about the 33. At the 33-yard line, Rico Clark smothered by the punt team for Texas A&M. Here's first and 10, shotgun again. Asher, the tight end, in motion to the left side. Ball snapped, looking left, looking for Asher. Off his fingertips, incomplete at the 40. One of the few times today that the big tight end, Jamie Asher, who was a senior out of Indiana with 152 career receptions, just dropped that ball. He should have had it. 217 yards passing for Louisville today. That is all of their offense. They have nothing rushing the ball. And again, dancing around, throwing the ball, high over the head. And I, oh, no, oh, that's a terrible call there. Brutal. Sean Jackson over his head incomplete, and the officials drop a flag on the Aggies. And that is a, I'm going to have to go along with my buddy Dave, that was a brutal call. That was way over the head of everybody into the sideline. They're standing over the flag at the 46, and they're going to wave oh, it off. They did a good yeah, job. Good. They shouldn't good have. Good job. Uh, you know, over the head, he said. Yeah, it was not catchable. Not only that, there wasn't any interference. Donovan Greer yeah. can go for the football, and that's exactly what he was doing. Yeah, I'll give him a hand there because right. they, uh, they said no to something that shouldn't have been thrown in the first place. Here's third down and 10 then. Line of scrimmage is the 34-yard line. Louisville's into the field. Again, they've gone shotgun most of the day. All of their offense is through the air. No rushing yards. Again, they'll put it in the air. Outside pressure. Ball's caught by the fullback, Kurt Fitzpatrick. He has a first down to the 45-yard line. They got 11. All of their offense now is through the air. They have nothing on the ground. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Shotgun again. Straight drop. By low, under some pressure. No, it's fumble. fumble. Ball's on the turf, and I think a and has picked it. it up back at the 35. Here's low being hit and fumble the ball, and the Aggies, Brad Crowley, has come up with it at the 37-yard line. You keep feeling throughout this ball game that it's only a matter of time before the Aggies will get to low. They've been close so many times, but they never give up defensive line. Finally gets there. I couldn't tell who knocked the ball loose or who recovered it, but the Aggies have the football at the Louisville 37-yard line, yeah. first and 10. Antonio Armstrong hit him from the front side, and then it was Brad Crowley who got the fumble recovery at the Louisville 37-yard line, first down and 10. I formation. Gross and Thomas are the running backs. And it's play action. Pulling throwing over the... Incomplete down at the 15. There was nobody within 10 yards. Only 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. And we'll get this play. The clock stopped on the incomplete. High formation again. Same two running backs. McKeon actually lines up in the backfield. Goes in motion to the short side. Goes to Rodney Thomas. Inside he goes. And he got two yards to the 35. Now four seconds. Now three. That'll be the third quarter. We're going to the fourth. The Aggies ahead 10 to 7. We'll take a break. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. Here are the Aggies. Third down and eight. Play action, rolling to the left, pulling, deep pocket, let's fly toward the end zone, has a man, incomplete, there will be a defensive pass interference call against Louisville at the five-yard line. This is something the Aggies wanted to do today. They came out, got a quick huddle, went on a quick count. Louisville was not ready on this third and eight play. They got a play action pass and threw the ball down the middle, and the Louisville defender didn't know where the receiver was, the receiver being Chris Sanders, and the Aggies will pick up a first down. One of the things you sacrifice defensively when you move your fronts around like Louisville does is susceptibility to a quick count. That time, the Aggies catching Louisville off guard. First down and 10 at the Cardinal 20. The Aggies, hash mark right. High formation. Trailing back is Thomas. Full back is Gross. Pulling is calling a audible here. 
And it goes to Thomas, caught in the backfield on a handoff at the 24-yard line. They were there as soon as Bullock got the, the handoff to Rodney Thomas. Well, they, Louisville doing some gambling there, coming up with an all-out blitz. They had seven men coming on that run blitz. They had somebody in every gap, and there was absolutely no place for Rodney to run. He'll lose about three and a half yards. Got an attendance number for you, 36,112, and that is a sellout. They had a few no-shows here today, but they did sell it out. Aggies bought 3,500 tickets. Second down and 14 from the 24. Pulling, calling an audible. It's better hurry. Five. Yep, going to have to snap it in a hurry. And he did. Plenty of time. Again, they're going to loft it to the sideline. Chris Sanders reaches out. Touchdown! Oh, what a catch. Touchdown! What a Chris Sanders caught it at the two. Goes into the end zone. Lobbed it right over his fingertips. He reached out, brought it in. He was being trailed by Tony Bethel. 23 yards on the pass to Chris Sanders. This he is has a 6, a 20, a rather a 46, and a 23 now today. And his third touchdown of the season. This is the play that Corey's been trying to get to when he reads the blitz. This was an audible. It was the fade route to Chris Sanders. A beautiful throw from Corey Pulling. 23 yards later, Sanders has the touchdown, and the Aggies have taken control of this ball game. Here is the extra point by extra Kyle point. Bryant. It's going to be good, and the Aggies now lead it by a score of 17 to 7, with exactly 14 minutes to go in the ball game. And Louisville will take a break and tell you now that this is the Texas Aggie Network. Pulling laid it out there, and Chris Sanders reached out, stretched out those arms, brought it in at about the two-yard line and scored the touchdown on a 23-yard pass. 14 to go in the game. The Aggies up by 10 now at 17-7. to Here's Waggis Pack. It's a sidewinder and will be taken, and then out rolls by Cosmo Sims, and he'll go down on a knee as he picks it up in the end zone. He was trying to catch a skip at the one or the two, and then he picked it up in the end zone and went down. Dave. Let's have a recap of that drive very quickly. Fumble recovery by Brad Crowley at the Louisville 37-yard line. It takes the Aggies three plays to go to the 37 yards. Corey Pulling with an audible against the blitz read goes to the fade pattern to Chris Sanders. A 23-yard fade completion to Chris Sanders for the touchdown. The Aggies lead it 17-7 with 14 minutes left in the game. Threw it back to his right with Sanders breaking toward the sideline and the goal line. First down and 10, Louisville. Again, they show the shotgun. Bell's in motion to the open side of the field. Snap it, drop back. They're setting up a screen. It's over to the left side. It goes to Fitzpatrick. He got two yards out of that. Caught it back at about the 15. Most of the yardage made behind the line of scrimmage. Gets it to the 22. And Ray Mickens, who missed earlier on a pass to Fitzpatrick, that time made the tackle. They got two on the screen right. We come back, Larry Jackson reaches out as Lowe set the pocket back at the 15, grabbed him by the sleeve of the jersey, and like a rag doll, he put him down at the 15-yard line. That will be the second sack of the day for Larry Jackson. It will be his fifth of the season. A loss back to the 15, third and 15, Louisville. Armstrong, Mitchell, Jackson. Uh, Keith Mitchell, it's Brandon Mitchell earlier that I mentioned. Graham is in there. Junior White's in this package as well. They're going to throw it. It'll be caught at the 15, and it's caught by... And it'll be Bates. Bates across the 15 to the 17-yard line. They got two on that. Bates caught at the 15, and he was wrapped up by Keith Mitchell, then hit very hard by Junior White. The Ags have a chance here, Dave, to get good field position on this kick. Brookfield will take the snap, standing at the two. Line of scrimmage is the 17. Outside pressure, kicks a end over end, and will hit. Oh, it's going to get a great Louisville roll, and will be killed by Louisville at the 36-yard line. No chance at all for Mitchell. That hit short, and then started rolling down the field, down to the 36, where it was killed by the Cardinals. First down and 10. Aggies with the ball again. They're going to have it on the ground here to uh, Detron Smith. Crosses the 40, goes to the 41. We get about four yards 
On that pickup will be De uh, Detron Smith. Under R.C. Slocum, they're 57-12-2. R.C. trying to win here in his sixth season, his 58th ball game. Second down and about six. Operating at the A&M 41. On the ground, McElroy wrapped up, got a yard. McElroy, and he got that. Yeah, they'll give him the 42, so it's going to be third down and five facing A&M. On third down conversions today, they are six of 13. Louisville, five of 11. Total offense now for the Aggies, 247. Here's the third down play. Rolling left, pulling throws, caught by Matthews. He got the line of scrimmage. He caught it at the line of scrimmage, and he was hit thigh high by Terry Quinn. Fourth down, and it's a punt coming up for Texas A&M. Fourth down and four as they punt it away. Line of scrimmage about the 43. Clark standing at the Louisville 20, waiting for the punt. They're coming, and they did not get to it. Sidewinder, kind of a spiral, taken by Clark at the 21. Got away from Cole Reinert. This way, Hell Reinert gets up and comes back, knocks him down at the 25. Oh, that's what you like to see, that second effort. Missed on the first time, he came back to him, and he didn't miss on the second time. Cole Reiners will knock him down at the 25-yard line. They have minus 14 rushing and 232 passing. They're minus 14 on the ground. Shotgun with a halfback on either side. Motion shown from Asher. Now they go on the ground to Fitzpatrick. Starting it outside. Goes to the 30. Bumped out as he hits the 32, 33-yard line into the Aggie bench. No shotgun. Asher going left to right in the formation. Now he's coming back to the left side. And he goes set on the left side. And they'll hand off. It goes up the middle. Big hole across the 45 to the midfield mark. Into Aggie territory at the 48-yard line. Fitzpatrick, the fullback right up the middle on a second down and two into Aggie territory at the 48. First down and 10. They're operating at the Aggie 48. Shotgun again. Rolling to the left after the snap. Here comes the quarterback sack back at the 38-yard line, Larry Walker. Oh, and a big loss all the way back to the 37. Oh, they're going to spot him at the 40. They're back on the minus side rushing the ball after the quarterback sack. Second down and 22 at the Louisville 40. They have to get to the Aggie 38. Snap it out of a shotgun. Throw it. Flag down. It's going to oh, an official was taken out on the play. And oh, he's, and he's hurt. hurt. And the ball is caught at the 41-yard line, which was the line of scrimmage plus a yard. Over the middle on a middle screen that they got to Fitzpatrick. Well, the official has gotten up and limped off the field. He's right here in front of us uh, behind the Louisville bench. It was a holding call on Louisville. Aggies would have the option of taking the play, which would be little uh, or no gain, and face third down, or back them up and make it second and a bunch, and they're going to take second and a bunch. Oh, but you know what? The holding call was called way behind the line. This is going to be about oh, yeah. a 16 or 17-yard penalty. All right, so they will back it all the way up to the 23-yard line. So it'll be second down and 39. Second and 39. Uh, Low will, uh, he'll be a shotgun. Has only one running back. He's to the right of the quarterback. There's the snap. Drops back inside the 15, and he's being chased. Here's a quarterback sack at the 19-yard line. At the 19, they'll lose four. Low wrapped up by Antonio Armstrong. That will be his second sack of the day, eight and a half for the season. Howard Schnellenberger going to his offensive coordinator and saying, okay, come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun, they're going to give him a trips formation on the right side, a tight end left. Single setback, it's a half back to the left side. Straight drop low. He's being chased again. It's a screen. It goes to Fitzpatrick at the 20, 25, at the 27-yard line. Well, they got a little of it, but not nearly enough. It'll be fourth down and a punt coming up for the uh, Cardinals of Louisville. Here's Brookfield. He's had a great day today. His last kick, 47. He's had uh, four of 42 or better. Mitchell standing at the Aggie 30. Biggins blocked off. Keep him from away. Here's Mitchell. He have a chance to return at the 35. He's hit. Did he drop the ball? He did, and I think Louisville has come up with it. He was hit as he went across the 35. Louisville recovers at the Aggie 34-yard line. That one will be picked up by Steve Miles, a linebacker for Louisville. 6-12 to go, and Louisville with a break here. They'll have it at the Aggie 34, they get the 35-yard line. First and 10, Louisville. Had him backed up, 
And then a nice hit by Louisville on Billy Mitchell. He was, uh, I mean, hit hard. No shotgun. Fitzpatrick on the pitch. Nothing. Caught. He will lose a yard. He'll be knocked down outside the 35. All right, no uh, huddle. Shotgun again. Second down and about 11. Dancing around low. Plenty of time to throw. He will. Incomplete. Threw behind the intended receiver, Sean Jackson, at the 10th. Threw behind him. He drew triple coverage. Down to 12 seconds, 11 seconds, 10 seconds on the play clock. No shotgun, and they'll show an eye formation. Third down and 11. They'll snap it in a hurry. There's the snap. And it's a draw out of the backfield of Fountain. It will go to the 34-yard line, wow. and that's it. A draw to Fountain. And that, that draw will draw booze from most of the Louisville Cardinal fans here. Practically nothing. It's fourth and ten, and we'll have a field Makers. goal attempt. Well, we will. He is oh, this 0 is for one. 1 outside the 41. He's going to kick this from the 41. It's a 51-yard effort. Oh, keep it Outside alert. the 40, he's 0 for 1. Be alert for a fake. Aggies with nobody back, they will uh, yeah, they're not gonna play fight. defense. They'll probably not even rush this kick. All right, 5 of 9 in field goals. His longest is 35. Here it's on its way. That looks good enough. And it is good. He just hit one from 51 yards. Did David Akers to bring him within 7 at 17 to 10 with 4.38 remaining in the ballgame. Look out for an onside kick when we come back. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. Akers will kick off after he just hit the 51-yarder. Puts his foot in it. It's going to be a little short, and it's going to be Mitchell at the 15. Got a block, 25. Tripped up. Goes to the 35 and pushed out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. One, two, three, four. Kickoff men for Louisville on Mitchell to run him into the Louisville bench. We've got 431 left in the game. His longest this year had been 35. He was, uh, here is a... We move. Yep, the Aggies right moved, guard. and it's going to be a five-yard markoff. 431 left, and Louisville has three timeouts remaining. The Ags need to take some time off of this clock. First and 15, Brandon Ward over the ball. Single setback, three wide outs to the left. Motion from Detron Smith. And on the ground it will go to McElroy. Started out to the left, cuts it back inside. Got a little of the penalty back, about three yards of the five they lost. Second down and 12. Heavy eye. Snap it. Play action. Going to put it in the air. Rolling to the left. Caught by Detron. 40, 45. First down. 50, 40, 35. Runs by a man. Falls down at the Louisville 31-yard line. 29-yard line. Detron Smith in the flats out to the left. Caught it. Rico Clark then finally caught him from behind. Louisville has a man down over on the far side of the field. 32 yards on the pass to Detron Smith. It's two injured players. It was Brown and Madison for Louisville who had to leave the field. Aggies operate at the Louisville 29 yard line. They give them an eye formation. Flanker right. Two flankers in the ball game. Goes to Gross. He fights for yardage to the 25. Close to the 24. Now it becomes a matter of eating some clock time. Having the ball at the Louisville 24 and a half. Will be Goodwin and Jones. Brandon Ward's over the ball. It's again an eye formation. Now they'll shift to a heavy eye with Gross as the fullback. Goes to Rodney Thomas at the 25-yard line. Bowls a guy over to the 22. 208. Leland McElroy back in, and he is flexed out to the left side. Gross is the lone setback. Three wide outs to the left, and they tie it in right. They're going to put the ball in the air. It's going to be a screen. Drops it. Incomplete to McElroy to the left side at the 25. Incomplete now will be... A fourth down play, and it will be a field goal effort by Kyle Bryant with 1.53 remaining in the ball game. So we got a 40-yard effort back to the left. He has hit three of his last four. Has one earlier today. Angle left. Stormy Case will hold. Cole Reiner to the deep snapper. Still haven't snapped the ball. Now they have. It's down. Here's the kick on its way. That kick is good. He just hit it. From 40 yards, from 40 yards, Kyle Bryant gives the Aggies a 10-point lead at 20 to 10. We'll take a break. This is the Texas Aggie Network. So happy birthday to Eric. He's 10 years old. Well, we've seen Eric grow up. 
Here is Waggis Packus, and he will squib it. It's uh, fumbled and then picked up at the 36-yard line. Keith Waggis back just squibbed that one down to the 36-yard line. One of the upbacks hit it, and it rolled down to the 36. First down and 10. Shotgun again in the air. Now a sack of low. He's going to be wrestled to the turf. Back at the 27-yard line, he's going to be uh, dropped by Larry Jackson. Again. That will be his third quarterback sack today. So the Aggies will come in now on this long yardage situation with their dime coverage. Junior White and Typhoon McMullen come into the lineup. Shotgun again, dropping back, standing at the 18, now being chased low. Let's go. And it's going to be incomplete. We're going to have a hold. The 43, a hold on who? have to have a hold against uh, against Louisville, although I don't see the flag. He was reaching for it. It was a takedown on Keith Mitchell. But I can't find the flag. He must have changed his mind. He reached for into his pocket and then decided not to pull the flag. Say hello to exceptional cellular service. Call GTE Mobile at 1-800-800-4-GTE. Shotgun again. Snap it. Step up into the pocket. Dancing. Wanting to go for everything. Over the middle they will. Intercepted by Hurricane Hendricks at the 35. Back to the 40. 45. 50. Got away from a man. 45. 40. 35. 30. 25. 20. Has a man to beat. Gets down inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line. Michael Hendricks with his first interception of the season. Michael Hendricks. Actually, he has one earlier this season. I guess that was against Oklahoma. Here is a first down and goal at the eight for the Aggies with 49 seconds remaining in the ball game. They will go with a full house backfield, two tight ends, and Detron Smith set up. Pitch it out to Rodney Thomas around the corner. He will score around the corner to the left side with Rodney Thomas on the pitch, and the Aggies dial up 26 to 10 on a pitch to Thomas wide left. Here's Kyle Bryant with the extra point. Could make it 27 to 10. The interception by Michael Hurricane Hendricks, the fifth of his career, second of the season, turns into a touchdown on an eight-yard run by Rodney Thomas and a first and goal from the eight. Case puts it down, and it's partially blocked. Goes off to the left side. The extra points is no good by Kyle Bryant. So we'll hold at 26 to 10 with 43 seconds remaining in the ball game. From eight yards out, makes it 26 to 10 after the extra point was missed. Waggis back kicks off. Bounces at the 11. At the 8, being chased back to the 5 by Cosmo Sims. Tackled at the 4. That's it. 40 seconds to go. The Aggies have handled them rather handily the last two years at 40 to 18 and 92 and 42 to 7 last year. Both at the backfield as it goes to Fountain. He'll go to the 10-yard line. Now 34 seconds remaining. And this one will be win number 8, 8-0 eight, oh, and 1 now for the Aggies with only TCU remaining on this 1994 schedule. Eight seconds as they start the clock. They'll keep it on the ground. And it goes to Fountain again. That'll be the last play of the ball game. We will, uh, there's a big cannon fire. To <laughs> and the game Whoa. comes to an end. First time all, we're using that at home, but they haven't done that all day long. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to add and just take a, uh, we're going to take a three-minute network break. Well, I was very pleased to come to Louisville and win this game against a talented Louisville team. Uh, I was very concerned. I, I thought going into the game that Louisville really had all the factors going for them. We had beaten them uh, for the last two years by pretty convincing margins in College Station. Uh, coming up here, playing after an emotional win over Texas last week, playing them here, uh, they had been told this week that if they could win this game, they uh, had an opportunity to go to a bowl game. In fact, they'd been, I think, uh, told that they would be selected to go to a bowl game if they won this game. So I, I thought going in from uh, a lot of different ways, they, they had the edge and all the, the factors other than just what happens on the field. Uh, the, the crowd here was obviously a partisan crowd for Louisville. We had about 3,500 of our people bought tickets and came to the game, and they had about 36,000, I think, was the announced attendance. But 
our team came out and I thought right before the half to drive down to score to make the score seven to seven was a key drive for us and then we came back in the second half and I thought really uh, played an outstanding half and happy to win on the road again I uh, can't uh, say really too much about the job that our seniors have done over the last four years uh, you know these guys uh, have one more game to go at this point they've only lost two regular season games in their entire careers and have never lost a Southwest Conference game uh, we play TCU next week and if we can uh, be fortunate enough to win that game uh, this group of seniors will have never lost a home game at Kyle Field and would have never lost a, a Southwest Conference game in their four years. And I, I can't say too much about the job that they've done, the uh, character that they've shown, and particularly this year, and uh, helping our team overcome some real adversity and end up right now uh, being one of just a few undefeated teams in college football.